So here we have um, some really nice hollyhocks at different stages. I've got some really tiny ones here that are no more than about uh, five centimeters, a couple centimeters. And then you've got some mature ones and then you've got some really big ones like these ones here. But this is the way the leaf looks on hollyhocks. So you can see how beautiful that is. Hollyhock leaves. And they come up looking like this. And I'll show you a photograph of them in their mature states. But they do come in a lot of different colors. Let me just give you a good look at how many I've grown in my garden. Starting from here, you can see it goes right around. And it goes right around here. And that is hollyhocks. I've got some bachelor buttons grown as well and some beautiful flowers here and some listeria growing right across the fence. Hi, hi guys. In today's video, um, I wanted to show you how I actually take hollyhock seeds that look like this and we are going to nurture and germinate these seeds so we can grow beautiful hollyhocks. So, I'm gonna show you how I go about doing this and what they look like. So here are some dried hollyhocks. And what I do is after the flower has flowered I take these and I dry them and once you dry them um, I harvest the seeds from every single pod but let's go look at some of the hollyhocks in the garden but in this video today I want to show you how I actually dry the hollyhocks and you're going to take your hollyhocks after they have flowered and they grow on a large stem like this let me give you a good look at this here. So let's just face it this way so you can get a better look. See, they come on the and here. I'm going to show you the seed pods. Can you see the seed pods right in the very first um, hollyhock? And the stem is quite long. Can you see how long that is? That's probably about quite a few feet, probably about few feet so they're quite long probably they, they can grow up to around five to nine feet in height but they come in different colors purple pinks and violet and I'm in my garden today just enjoying that beautiful Sun just got to show you how beautiful it is out here today you can see that beautiful full Sun here there it is see can you see that Sun so it is a really beautiful day in August but here we go, let's, let's get to harvesting these seeds. So what we do is you're gonna grab the very first seed pod and you might wanna take, well, if it's really, once you've dried it and you, you get it in a really nice dried state where there's no moisture on it, they dry like this and they dry very well. Then what I do is I pull off the, po the little pods and I begin to open I begin to open these pods. And this is what they look like. Give me a good look at how you can just slowly rub back and forth and open up the seed pods and just drop all of these seeds into your plate below. All right, so let's go ahead and, and and do another seed pod, one that's quite full. Here's one. So here we go. We are going to just grab that. You might want to actually get some scissors to cut cut them off the branches. And I'm going to open it up. And here you go. You have all these beautiful seed pods, seeds that come out. And this is what hollyhock seeds look like. 
I'm going to give a great close up at what hollyhock seeds look like. I'm going to give you a nice overview. Here we go. There and here they are. Just gonna, I'm just rubbing it so it all falls, falls into the bowl. And there. We probably should just discard that. Okay, we've got another one. Let's just discard that. So, you're going to get a great collection like this. And I'm just trying to show you what hollyhock looks like in my hands. And that's what the seed pods look like. They're quite interesting the way that they do look. I find that the way nature has cleverly genetically designed their own outcome in the seed pods and how it shapes itself and it does it all on its own. So here we go. So that is what hollyhock seeds look like. And it is so fun just to grab and harvest this. Like I have a great time doing this in the backyard. Just right in the midst of my backyard. You can just grab all this and see, isn't that just great? Look at that. Look at all these seeds. So after I've actually um, harvested, so can you imagine from one stalk, from one hollyhock stalks, how much seeds you can actually get from all of this after it's been dried. Like I have like quite a few stems here. I've got probably about like 20, 30, well actually more than that. So I keep that in the sun, keep it in the sun for quite a while. And then after you've done that, I put them in really nice strong Ziploc bags and I labeled them. So here I've labeled it as multicolored hollyhocks. They're purple, blues, and pinks in this 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 one and I'm gonna show you how how much I've collected and what it looks like here we go so this is what hollyhocks looks like and this is how much I've collected So I just wanted to show you that that is what you can do with a little project on your own. It's a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy it as much as I do. So if you are a gardener as much as I love it and I love gardening, then if you want to specialize in hollyhock flowers, then this might be um, the best way in um, getting more supply for the next season's growth. And you can just, I just have a wonder, wonderful time planting hollyhocks. I'll show you some of the baby ones I've started in my greenhouse. So in my greenhouse, I've got some little ones here that I started in little containers. And you know what, they're doing, they're, they've established their roots and they're doing really well. I've got to show you how, how wonderful they look. Isn't that just wonderful? I love it. I mean, I get so excited when I can actually take a seed and germinate it. And then the magic of it all is when it blooms, like the blooms and the flowers. Um, I get excited over small things like that. So if you tune in and you watch me prepare, harvest, and germinate and propagate plants, you're going to enjoy this channel. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. But here we have hollyhocks and isn't that just great? Look at that. I so I've actually um, I've actually started a few here in um, this little greenhouse, and I'm loving my greenhouse to like just loving work working in here every single day. And during this COVID pandemic, it, it's it's nice to get involved in a hobby that you enjoy, and so this has kept me really busy. 
but here we go I'm just showing you some of the little ones that I've just germinated by seeds and you can imagine the amount of holly hawks I'll get in the next season or two because I know that after the seed um, germination process it may take you up to around two years and it's worth the wait for me it's worth the wait so in the next two years I'll get the beautiful beautiful blooms of hollyhocks but here they are in my greenhouse and I thought I would share that with you so don't forget to give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe it means the world to me from gardener's dream want to show you that hollyhocks do grow on a long stem these are not hollyhocks but I want to show you they kind of look like this Beautiful. 